Hello and welcome to this Cool Edge tutorial video for Evidence Cell Sense Dimension version 4.2. In this tutorial we will use a PE4000 to explain how to install and configure the illumination system and set up an experiment but you can also follow these steps for other supported products the PE800 series, the PE300 white, PE300 ultra and PE340 Fura. Before we launch CellSense, there are a few steps we need to complete. Firstly, you may need to install the CoolEd PU driver if you have not done so already. Unless you are using the PE800 series with Windows 10, you will need these drivers which can be downloaded from the CoolEd website. And please refer to the installation video for further guidance. The next step is either to download CellSense following the instructions from the Evident website or to modify the installation to add your CoolEd illumination system. As you can see here, we've already downloaded a version of CellSense, so we need to modify the files. To do this, you must locate the original installation files. Now select Setup. We want to maintain the imaging software because we don't want to reinstall it. Now click next and follow the instructions. We already have our license key. Select yes to accept all of the terms of the license agreement and click next. Keep clicking next. And now you've reached the Microscope Accessories selection window, this is where you can select CoolEd. We're selecting the PE4000 here, and you can also select any other illumination systems you require. We're selecting the PE800. Click Next. And Next again. And now you just wait for the installation. Now click finish to complete the installation. Once your cool LED illumination system is switched on and connected to the PC via the USB, it's time to launch CellSense. To add the PE4000 to CellSense, navigate to Device List. In this case, we're using a manual microscope, and this now presents options for the reflected light path. Click this, and under Lamp, we select the CoolEd PE4000. We can also select the PE4000 virtual shutter and by clicking on interfaces we can confirm the COM port. Here we can see that the COM port has been correctly assigned to the PE4000. But if you are having trouble with the installation it's a good idea to look at this and cross reference it with the Windows device manager. We're happy with the installation here so we'll click OK and we'll click OK again. And here we can confirm that the PE4000 has correctly installed. So now it's time to look at device customization. This is where we can set up observation methods with customised LED settings. In this example, we're going to use DAPI and FITSI. And we start by creating two new observation methods by selecting this icon here. 
we'll call this Dappy, press enter. And then we need to assign the fluorochrome. So select fluorochromes here. And from the status drop down, change not used to use. Then we can simply type in Dappy and press enter. And it has assigned the fluorochrome here. Or we can select it from the drop down menu. Then we need to select the LED and we'll change the status from not changed to adjust. Then we want to select the first channel and the 405 nanometer LED and we'll just reduce the intensity. Next we want to set the virtual shutter. And here we change the status from not changed to use for acquisition. And this is a really useful setting because it means the LED is only on when the camera is acquiring an image. So you're reducing the amount of light your sample is exposed to and therefore you're reducing the risk of photo damage. So we'll select this and that's the first observation method set up. We'll set up the second one now and the easiest thing to do is simply to copy the observation method. And we'll call this Fitzy and press enter. Now we just need to change the fluorochrome. And we'll type in Fitzy and press enter. And again, it's automatically assigned here. And then we want to change the LED. So we'll change this to the second channel. 490 is already selected here. That's the correct LED. We'll just reduce the intensity slightly. It's worth noting that this drop down menu is specific to the PE4000. For other cool LED illumination systems, such as the PE800, what you'll see is a list of one LED per channel because the the P4000 is the only system that has multiple LEDs per channel. Again, we want to just check the shutter here. It's still on for use for acquisition. So we can click OK to save our settings. And here you can see that the two observation methods are now available from the toolbar. But of course, if we select them, the LEDs won't switch on because they'll only switch on when the camera is acquiring the image. If you do want to have the LEDs switched on when you're simply observing your sample without the camera, then what you need to do is go to the microscope control window here. This can also be accessed from the toolbar can open the shutter and then all the LEDs along here can be selected and the intensity controlled and you can see the LEDs being controlled in real time and your observation methods are also available from this window so the next step is to set up an experiment And to do this, we go down to the Experiment Manager tab and we will create a new experiment. On this drop down menu here, you can see your observation methods. So we'll select Dappy and Fitzy. You can optimize the settings here and we'll also add a time lapse loop. So simply drag this around your flora floors. Again, we can optimize the settings here. And once we're happy, it's simply a case of pressing start and you'll be able to see the LEDs trigger. I hope this has given you a good start to controlling cool LED illumination systems in CellSense. But if you have any more questions or would like more information, then please just get in touch. Thank you for watching. Thank you.